In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a ladder to your Half-Life 2 Deathmatch map. Uh, it's going to require a couple of entities and a brush that looks like your ladder, so I'm going to show you how all that works right now. What I've done is I've opened up Hammer, the editing tool. I've loaded up a test room, which is just a basic room here, uh, with a player spawn point, a couple of lights, simple texturing, nothing fancy, just something to get the job done. Now let's go ahead and add what the player thinks he is going to climb, which is not actually our ladder, it's just what the player thinks is a ladder. So, that's an, an important distinction, uh, and I'll show you why. First of all, I'm going to create a brush. I'm going to make it about 64 units wide. I'm going to make it go from floor to ceiling. Let's zoom in a little bit so I can see floor to ceiling here. There we go. Let's zoom into here. It doesn't matter how wide it is. 64 units. Eight. Okay, there we go. All right, let's move back so you can see it in the 3D window. All right. Let's create that brush. There it is. And what you can see here is that it's just some sort of block texture. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a wall of water. It could be blocks. It could actually be a fence. It could be a fence. It could be a ladder. It doesn't matter what it is. Because the player is going to think he can climb it because somehow in your level you're going to tell the player, yes, he can climb that area. Or maybe it's a secret. Or maybe it's a pipe. It could be whatever you want it to be. It's not important. What's important are the entities that surround this item here. So I'm going to hit escape to deselect whatever I have here. Uh, let's see. We'll go to Shift S for our arrow tool so I can deselect. And I'm going to go to Shift E for my entity tool because I want to go ahead and create an entity. It's very important to know your shortcuts because they'll get you through everything a little bit quicker. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create my ladder entity. In this case, we're going to create a function usable ladder. So I'm going to go down to here. I'm going to place my f entity in front of where the ladder is going to be. I'm going to go down to Entities. I'm going to look for function usable ladder. There it is. And go ahead and create it. There it is. Now before I do anything else, what I want to do is I want to go to uh, Shift S, which is my arrow key here, and I want to drag this upward, the uh, direction in which he's going to climb. There we go. You see what I did? This function actually has a starting and ending point. So if I, if I go ahead and if I hit um, Alt-Enter to bring up the properties of this, you'll see it has a starting point and an ending point. It doesn't matter since the player can get on or off from the top or bottom, it doesn't matter which is the start and which is the ending. As long as you do define the entire area in which the player is allowed to use their ladder. Okay? And what else is very important here I found out is that this ladder entity is not touching the ladder itself. It's not touching anything because whenever it does touch, the game doesn't know what doesn't even know that the ladder exists because it gets confused. So you have to make sure it's not touching. It could be one unit away. In this case, it's about eight, maybe 16 units away. So make sure that it is not touching there. OK. We're done. Shift S. I can get out of that. Now, actually, we can get in here and play the game. But what we want to do right oh, before we go ahead and do that is we want to tell the game where the player can get off of the ladder. Because you'll find out that uh, without what is called an info ladder dismount, that the player will have to jump off the ladder to actually get out, because the game doesn't know that the player should be able to get off. Um, it makes it a little easier for the game to understand how things are supposed to work. So we're going to go ahead, shift, uh, oh, shift E for our entity tool here, and I'm going to add a couple of dismounts. I'm going to add a dismount here, here, and here on the floor so that the game knows that it can get off the ladder in any of those positions. So let's add one over here first. Down near the floor, look for info, let's hit I to take a shortcut, up, shortcut to the eyes, info ladder dismount, go over to here, hit enter. There's our entity. I'm going to hit Shift S and move it down to, so it's actually on the floor. Go back to Shift E. Let's add another one. Enter. Shift S. Move that into position. And then we got to do one more. OK, Shift E and Shift S. Oh, Shift E, Enter, and Shift S. There we go. Move that to the floor. And that's it. That's all we need to make our ladder work. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this now, uh, which is your F9, is your shortcut. Keep. Before we do this, let's save. I'm going to save my map, Control S, and let's hit F9. Just run a, a normal BSP right here, compiling method, let it compile. While it's compiling in the window, which is a little bit out of view here, I'm making sure that there aren't any errors. I didn't see, I didn't see any errors pop up, so I can close that out. Now we go over and we got to move our map. 
So let's go over to where the map was saved down here in program files, valve, steam, steam amp, apps, username, uh, source SDK, then it should be under Half-Life 2 sample content maps. There's my test BSP, that's the name of my map here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it over into Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, Half-Life 2 MP, maps, and I'm going to paste it right here, right over my old test map. Now I'm going to load up the game and we're going to run a test and see how it looks. Okay, so I've got Half-Life 2 Deathmatch opened up. I'm going to hit the tilde key to bring open the console, which we've already specified why that happens in our options. Okay, I'm going to type in map, the name of my test map, and I'm going to let it load up. Okay, here we are inside the map. Now there's the brush that's going to, that the player thinks is our ladder, and you're going to see that I can walk right up it to it, walk right up it, and I can walk right back down. Now you can kind of see I'm not doing anything. It's shaking on its own, but don't worry about that, because that shaking is actually occurring inside of the original maps as well. So, it's not your fault. It's just the way the game plays. Now, you'll also find out that I can't get off the ladder unless I jump off the ladder. But, where I place those ladder dismounts, I can walk right down and walk right off, because the player knows those dismounts are there, and I can walk right off the ladder. That's why that happens the way it is. So, there you go. You can go ahead and start adding ladders into your map. So, happy mapping.